Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Dockerty Dozen, and I'm here for another weekly grocery haul for my family of 12. Uh, it is a Monday night, so this will be interesting. Zoe had her Odyssey of the Mind States competition in Syracuse this weekend, which threw off our entire schedule. I'm just now getting grocery shopping on a Monday night. I would have gone this morning, but my mom was sick, so she couldn't babysit Harley. I have my grocery list. It is organized by area of the store, so I'm hoping to get in and get out before the kids go to bed so I can still tuck them into bed. It is, a, feels like zero degrees, I think. Let's go. I always start at the back of the store. Cart one. I'm kind of addicted to these peanut butter pretzels. And um, is that chocolate covered ones? Yes, please. We are out of our paper plate stash. Don't come at me, let me explain. We currently do supplement with paper plates and bowls because our septic tank is broken and we're waiting to get hooked up to the town's sewer system, which is taking forever because we're at the mercy of, you know, the town. So in the meantime, we have to use minimal water, which means I do my laundry at the laundromat and we use, do use paper plates and bowls some of the day. To conserve on our water use. We gotta get some cups too. Here's a debate for you. I am a Mr. Clean fan and Josh is a Pine Sol fan. Which are you? I like to keep disinfecting wipes in each of the bathrooms. And we already need paper towels again. I am telling you guys, this puppy will not house train. Bodie was begging me last night for blue construction paper for a project he wants to make. So I have to make sure I get him his blue construction paper. I'm going to guess he wants to make something to do with Super Mario. So far, so good. Do I need any Ziploc bags? I don't think so. I do need aluminum foil though. I've been going through that pretty quickly lately. I love these extra wide rolls. I need to restock my white cloth supply while I'm here. Only black cherry flavor, of course. Now Aunt Kiki and Uncle Eric do help me drink this every week. <laughs> so don't think I go drinking this all by myself. I'm gonna get one more for good measure. We always need salsa. And I've never paid much attention to this European section um, of our grocery store. So I'm going to look around for something for our Around the World Monday Poland night. Maybe here's a potato pancake mix. Nana and I are going to make potato pancakes. I don't know if this would be useful or not. And I'll get some Polish dill pickles. I need some pancake mix for the crepes. I usually use Hungry Jack, which works the best, but they don't have that in this store. So I guess I'll try this quick this time and hope it works. We don't need much cereal. I just did a pantry clean out and we're pretty well stocked in cereal, but I am out of my favorite kind. <laughs> and I do remember that Bree just ate the last bowl of Reese's Puffs. So I'm gonna grab those too. I need some berry filling for the crepes. Uh, why is this so hard to decide? I think I'll go with cherry. Maybe I'll get like three different kinds and then I'll make three different kinds of berry crepes. So blueberry, cherry, and Josh's favorite fruit is peach. So I'll get some peach filling too. Okay, what else do I need? 
I thought this was going to be a small haul today. <laughs> I'm wrong. I got the tomato products. I need some marinade for the chicken. We're grilling chicken on Wednesday. We love this chicken barbecue marinade. And the diced tomatoes are for cowboy stew on Thursday. Harley is suddenly into eating green beans. I know, <laughs> kind of a weird food favorite for a three-year-old. Uh, so I'm going to grab some cans of green beans for her. Got to get James's tuna fish and Velveeta. Oh my gosh. I just saw this out of the corner of my eye. Bodie's going to be so pumped up. They have red Doritos in stock. They've not had these for a while. So I'm going to grab two boxes of these. He's going to be so happy. And I'm totally going to impulse buy these Pokemon crackers. My kids will be excited about those. I have to get Brie her muffin bites. Now, she is a little bit obsessed with her muffin bites, but I wanted to tell you why. Kiddos who are neglected of breast milk or formula as a newborn often create a sugar addiction. Bree's sugar addiction is fed with little bites. Now, could we completely restrict her of all sugar? These kids will find a way to get it at school or somewhere. So what we do instead is we teach her about portioning and she can have two bags of muffin bites a day. It's a way that we've figured out to help feed her inner child while making sure that she understands moderation. Speaking of food obsessions, one of my food aversion kiddos, Zoe, is addicted to Cheez-Its. It's one of her safe foods that she will always eat when she's in a major food aversion phase. That quickly filled up cart one, so I'm going to leave that up front by the manager stand and get another cart. I start right back in whatever aisle I just left from. Cart two. Lime chips used to be my snack that only I ate and the kids hated, but they've slowly grown to love them as much as I do. I gotta get the twins their queso. I need some vegetable bullion. Bullion? Am I saying that word right? I need vegetable bullion for a recipe this week. And last week, we ran out of coffee in my house. It was not pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and stock up on my coffee this week. And of course, my little frappuccinos for my afternoon coffee. Gotta get the juice for the kids' lunches. Oh no! Capri Sun discontinued their Super Mario theme. Dash is going to be so bummed. He looked forward to his Super Mario Capri Sun every day. I'm just gonna get a box of every flavor and I hope that Dash likes one of those flavors. Dash has anemia and migraines, and his daily Capri Sun um, like helps him stop feeling weak, as odd as that sounds. Let's go see if they have Sunny D in stock. It's not always in stock. They do. I'm going to get a pack of the little ones. Jordan loves his Sunny D. We don't need any other juice because Nana just got a ton of juice last week. I do need to get a soda for our float challenge this week. I think I'm going to try Dr. Pepper. We've had a lot of people commenting that we should try Dr. Pepper floats. So that's what we'll try this week. Ah, don't 
don't smush my chips. We need bottled water. I like to keep these in the van because um, then when the kids head out the door of the van for their sports, in case we forget a water bottle, they have water to take with them. And over to the eggs. Now that the weather is getting nicer, our chickens are actually starting to lay a good amount of eggs again. So in the summer, we barely need to buy eggs, but right now I'm gonna get six dozen to make sure we have enough eggs for the week. Okay, let's see if my favorite creamer is in stock. It looks like, yes, caramel macchiato. Over to the milk section. We always need a few gallons of green cap milk. Bodhi, my five-year-old with autism, will only drink this green cap 1% milk from Wegmans. Most of the other kids, Josh and myself, prefer this vanilla almond milk. And I'm gonna get some orange juice too. Now this is tricky because some of my kids are on iron for their anemia. So I can't get any of the orange juice that has added calcium since then they can't take their iron pill with it. So we always have to search for the orange juice with no added things in it. But we don't like pulp in our orange juice either. So this is a challenge. Okay, found it. No pulp, no added calcium. Perfect. Gotta get the yogurts, but they are out of yogurt. Brunch. So, okay, this is not good. Bodhi, again, my five year old with autism and food issues, loves his Yo Crunch yogurt. He has to eat it every day, and they're completely out. We're also completely out at home. So, I guess I'm going to have to check another store tomorrow and hope that for now he'll accept maybe some SpongeBob Go Gurts. Here we go, SpongeBob. Now I do know how to make mashed potatoes from scratch, but you know what? Some weeks are just insane and I'm gonna go ahead and buy the pre-made mashed potatoes. I need more ham deli meat for ham and cheese crepes and Alex and Patrick like ham sandwiches in their lunches. And the store is still out of B12 that I take every day. Um, I take a high dose, I take 5,000. So this is just a little, um, what is it? 1,000 milligrams, so that's not enough. I'm definitely gonna have to order that. I'm gonna get a few loaves of bread. Fun fact, one loaf, giant loaf of bread makes 10 sandwiches. <laughs> so that's one meal. Gotta get more Hawaiian rolls. My kids love these things. My chickens love them as well. And hot dog buns for sausage. Part two is pretty full. I just gotta grab some reflex medicine. And I'll leave cart two up front with cart one. Go grab another. Cart three. I have to go back over to the other side of the store because I totally forgot to get rice. And I also forgot to get cream of mushroom soup for the cowboy stew on Thursday. 
The kids have been asking for slop. Um, I'll have to repost that recipe, but I'm gonna get more cream of mushroom soup so I can make slop this weekend. Raise your hand if you have a kid that loves cheese sticks. That would be Harley. Gotta get bacon. If you know me by now, you know it will be center cut, not marbly bacon. Three pounds of that. Josh and James requested more Italian sausage. We're having grilled chicken drumsticks this week, which is Patrick's most requested meal. However, I'm not seeing any drumsticks. Oh no, he'll be so upset if we can't have his favorite meal. Oh my gosh, okay, one pack left. He'll be excited, and then that is not enough to feed 12 people, so I'll grab a pack of chicken breasts as well, and then we'll have some leftovers. I can make chicken salad with it. I keep forgetting to order from the butcher another half of cow, so I gotta grab more ground beef this week. Get a few sandwiches to have in the fridge. These are for usually Josh and I when we have to just grab and go lunch because we're doing 5,000 things. And I'm gonna head over to the produce section. I hate how expensive grapes are, but my kids absolutely love them. So, ooh, first bag is a winner. This produce is looking amazing. I have a few bags of green grapes. And let's see how the red grapes look. Looking good. Excellent few bags of purple grapes. And I'll head over to the apple section. All of this produce looks really good today. Maybe Monday night is the time to come for good produce. First bag of apples, perfect. Second bag of apples, perfect. Let me check what else I need. I think I'll grab some Brussels sprouts for Josh. He loves them. Spring mix. Looks good. I need russet potatoes. Got to write it down, but I need Zoe's kiwi. She brings one every day for her school snack with a little plastic knife and spoon. I am the reason you should wash your produce. Like I'm seriously inspecting these kiwis. Perfect. That's a good one. Whoa. Off topic, look how big those jackfruits are. Okay, focus. Need to go get oranges. Jordan is loving the blood oranges. Let's grab those. Plus some clementines. We go through the five pound bag easily in a week. In the summer, we'll probably go through 10 pounds of clementines in a week. They swim all day in the summer, which burns more calories. 
and a bag of regular oranges. Let's go see what the bananas look like today. That is my dream. A whole row of green bananas. I like to buy them when they're still green so they don't go bad in a day. We'll get Iron Man sticker. Uh, what's that raccoon's name? I can't think of it, but my kids love him. Do you see how there's black right there? That means it's gonna go bad in a day. Not buying those ones. Spider-Man. And another Spider-Man. forgot I gotta go back and grab the red potatoes for the cowboy stew plus my kids will eat roasted red potatoes too so I'm gonna get four pounds of those sorry six pounds lettuce for taco night even the lettuce is looking amazing okay yeah Monday night produce is where it's at more carrots. I found celery in the fridge that we need to use up, so I don't need to buy any more celery this week. And cabbage for cabbage rolls and on to berries. Raspberries are Alex and Jason's favorite. Blueberries, the twins and James love, plus Bree and Patrick. And all of my kids love strawberries. Always check the bottom to make sure they're not rotten. And these look good. I'll get two containers of strawberries. Yep, they're acceptable. They passed the Alicia test. <laughs> that filled up cart three, so I'm gonna go down and grab a fourth cart. Card four. On to the freezer section. The kids have been wanting these pizza things. I, I think they're called pizza pockets, but I'm not seeing those. I do see that they have French toast sticks in stock. So I am gonna grab two bags of those. That can be breakfast one day this week. Jason and Bree love toaster strudels, so I always try and have some of those in the freezer. And pierogies for Poland night. ice cream for our Dr. Pepper floats. I love this lactose-free ice cream. And the kids have been asking for Klondike bars <laughs> that I know my husband will sneak and eat too. I'll get a box of popsicles. I always like to have popsicles on hand in case a kid bites their tongue or lip or something you give them a popsicle it's cured i didn't need much in cart four but that's good <laughs> hopefully this is a smaller order money wise but we'll see we are having a randomly cold day here in new york it actually uh, broke a record as like the coldest day okay it's 7 51 i should get home at eight o'clock so that's perfect I feel, this is so silly, but I feel guilty when I'm not, like, home to put my kids to bed. I know that makes no sense. But, I'll be home to just quick tuck 
them into bed. Um, hopefully, Josh and the teams can unload the groceries. It is so cold out. I felt horrible for the person helping me put the groceries in. So Wegmans, the food chain here on the East Coast, they employ people with special needs. Um, not all of them have special needs, but they do employ people with special needs to help. It's called Helping Hands, and they help load your groceries in your car. And I just had the nicest helper who's so sweet, and he reminded me of Patrick, who's our 13-year-old that we adopted um, two years ago. And he just was telling me how it was his birthday in February and he was so excited and like that's totally Patrick like that's gonna be Patrick when he's in his 20s he's still gonna be excited that it's his birth it was his birthday and whenever I interact with the Helping Hands crew it like gives me hope for my kids that like that could be Patrick he would be awesome at that job and that's like a good job for a good company so yeah I know Wegmans is more expensive but they got some they got some good perks to them so that is technically one of our smaller hauls <laughs> I know that's probably ridiculous for some people uh, but yeah that was not a big one it did not fill up four carts I don't know if I hand sanitized. It did not fill up four carts. Uh, lately I've been filling up four carts for the week. I am gonna have to go to the store tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm at a red light. I am gonna have to go to the store tomorrow to get Bodie's yogurts. They were out of sausage links. My kids just, they would eat sausage links every day for breakfast if I made them, but I don't. Um, but I do a couple days a week. And what else were they out of? Uh, sausage links. Bodie's yogurts. Uh, I think that was it. And here's the receipt. Thank you for joining me shopping. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you. We'll see you tomorrow.